If you're thinking about moving to Michigan, you likely want to know some pros and some cons before doing so. So in this video, you're in luck because I got five pros and, oh, five cons. So let's get after it right now. Hey everyone, it's Eric Meldrum, your Michigan real estate agent, and I've lived in Michigan my whole entire life, so I know a thing or two about why people like living here and why they don't like living here, and we're going to get into that right now. But before we do, if this is your first time to our channel, welcome. If you're returning to our channel, welcome back. I talk about all things Metro Detroit, what it's like to live here, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So we want to be the best resource for you when making your move here to Michigan, and whether you're moving in one month or one year from now, we got your back when doing so. So go ahead and subscribe and tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market and all things Metro Detroit right here on this channel. All right, so you guys ready to get into this? Let's talk about the pros and the cons of living here in Michigan. So let's start with the pros and then we'll get to the cons. You ready? Let's do it. All right, so first up on our list is pro number one, which is the cost of living here in Michigan. Now, according to the national average, uh, Michigan is about 96.4% out of 100, which means we're about 4% on average less than most major cities here in the United States. Now, they take into account things like transportation, housing, groceries, utilities, healthcare, you name it, that's in that number. You can find each of those individually if you wanna know if transportation's higher in most places or if housing is higher in most places, but on average, all those combined, Michigan's a 96.4 out of 100. All right, so number two on the list is the public transportation. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit surprised to find public transportation when I was doing my research on this. I wouldn't consider Michigan a very public transportation oriented uh, state, but when you grand scheme of things, when I thought about it and I kind of drilled down and said, okay, when you're talking about the major cities like Ann Arbor, Grand Rapids, Detroit, all of Metro Detroit, you know, we do have a great public transit system. There's buses that run pretty much everywhere in every major city. They have connections between cities. So in that regard, yeah, I do see it. But I was a little bit surprised because we are an automotive state and a lot of automakers have been lobbying for years to keep the type of public transportation like New York, San Francisco, I'm talking the railways, they have lobbied to keep those things out of Michigan. But overall, we do have a great public transportation system. All right, so number three on the list is the top rated universities we have here in Michigan. Now, everywhere we look, I mean, you can go pretty much anywhere in Michigan and find a university. You got Western Michigan University, Eastern Michigan University, Northern Michigan, Ferris State, Grand Valley, and then there is the top universities here in Michigan. We got the University of Michigan and Michigan State University. These are the big 10, these are the most recognizable ones and they have quite the rival. So I'd love to hear what side you're on. Are you a go blue or go Sparty fan? Drop it in the comments below and let me know which university you're rooting for. All right, so pro number four is the healthcare system here in Michigan. Now, little disclaimer, I have never been to a doctor outside of Michigan. I don't plan to. I hope I never need to, but here in Michigan, the internet says we have an excellent healthcare system. So I'm going to take their word for it based on my experience and say, yep, I agree. Healthcare system here in Michigan is pretty great, especially after I saw the stats on cost of healthcare in other states. We got it pretty good here in Michigan. So healthcare system's excellent. My favorite healthcare system here in Michigan is the University of Michigan. They got nothing but great service, nothing but great doctors tons of great facilities, everything's updated. I love that, it's where both of our kids were born. And I, frankly, I wouldn't go anywhere else if I had a choice. All right, so number five on the pro list, and we cannot skip over this one, which is the outdoors and recreations here in Michigan. Now remember guys, we're all four seasons here in Michigan. We got summer, we got fall, we got winter and we got spring. Almost mixed up winter and spring there. I'm trying to think of the order they go through, but we got all four seasons here, which means times four, the amount of activities. So whether you love summer, you can do boating, hiking, biking, golf. You got the winter, goes good for snowmobiling, skiing, snowboarding. One of my favorite things to do in the winter growing up was playing pond hockey. I remember there was a park near our house and every winter there was a firefighter who lived across the street. He would bring the truck out, hook up the hose, 
to the fire hydrant and flood the field so we could get this nice smooth ice for our pond hockey and we played pickup games pretty much every night our parents had to come out and grab us from the ice and pull us home to go to bed so if you guys are looking for things to do here in michigan there is no shortage of activities all right so that wraps it up for the pros i'd love to hear if you think there's something special about living here in michigan drop in the comments below i'd love to hear it all right so con number one is the cold long winters here in michigan now i know what you guys are thinking like, I don't want to deal with the snow. I don't want to deal with the cold. Well, if you're moving to Michigan, you're not going to get away from it. I can assure you moving northern Michigan, you're going to get worse. West Michigan, you're going to get a little bit more snow. Metro Detroit gets the least amount of snow. And you're still going to have the cold temperatures. But here's a little bit of advice. Buy a house with a garage so you can park your car in it. Get a remote start and buy a snow blower. You'll thank me later. All right, so con number two here in Michigan is the property taxes. Now, on average, for every $100,000 of home that you own, you're going to be paying roughly $1,600 per year in property taxes. Now, that's on average. That's taking into account all the cities here in Michigan, including the Upper Peninsula. But for Metro Detroit alone, you're probably going to be paying one and a half times that. And certain cities like Ann Arbor, uh, Birmingham, Gross Point, you're probably going to be paying two and a half times the average because property values are that much higher. All right, so con number three is the job opportunity here in Michigan. Now, if you're in Metro Detroit and you're gonna be coming to Michigan for a job in the healthcare system, the automotive, or maybe it's a tech job, Metro Detroit is definitely the place to be. Ann Arbor, Detroit, Grand Rapids, I would say all are busting at the seams with those type of jobs. Now, if you're getting a little bit more north, and you're gonna get out of the Metro Detroit area, you can expect the job market to get a little bit scarce at times. So it just depends on where you're at, but Metro Detroit for certain is gonna have the best job opportunities here. Okay, so that brings us to con number four, which is ugh, the traffic. Here in Michigan, we do have traffic. Metro Detroit is a lot worse than other parts of, of Michigan, but here's two major contributors to the traffic. And if you can find a way around this, you might be better off just taking an alternate route. And that's what they got Waze for. Waze has been the best thing as a realtor, driving around and avoiding traffic here in Metro Detroit. So definitely get Waze if you're gonna be moving here. But one thing you can do to avoid that is make sure you know where the construction zones are. Construction is the primary driver for a lot of the traffic here in Michigan because they can only do it in the summertime. Construction comes to a halt when it comes to winter, but then we're fighting the snow. So you got snow, you got construction. I mean, it's just never ending with the traffic here in Michigan. But a lot more people are working from home, so you might not have to deal with it at all. All right, so last but not least, and that brings us to con number five here in Michigan, which are the road conditions. The road conditions are horrendous. I don't really have anything to say about the roads. Some cities are better than others. Ann Arbor's got pretty good roads, but if you're going into Detroit, um, just be aware that you're probably going to get a flat tire at some point living here by hitting potholes. These potholes range anywhere from like a little round disc up into like a five gallon bucket to even the size of like your car tire. I mean, they can get massive. So keep an eye on the road, watch out for potholes, um, go slow and try to avoid them at all costs because they will do tremendous damage to your suspension and even break some rims. I've had a few cracked rims as I was younger, but I learned my lesson now is to go slow in the areas where I know potholes and the roads are really bad. So, so you're gonna wanna pay attention when driving at all costs. All right, so there you have it. We covered the five pros and the five cons of living in Michigan. As always, I want to be the best resource for you in making your move to Michigan, so don't hesitate to reach out. All my contact information is down below. Whether you're moving in one month or one year from now, we got your back when doing so. And don't forget to subscribe and tap that little bell so you're the first to learn about the current market here in Michigan and to be notified every time we come up with a new video just like this. So until next time, guys, thanks for sticking around, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.